Cameron from Astral up uh -huh. once, jumps, then get on the ceiling, oh. gets the reset, bumps <laughs> off the backboard, and then just the touch from Fairy Pig into Hitachi. The goal happens there, but the magic happened beforehand. That. Oh, the Carmine Corp. So, oh, so you think it's like the opposite? Look at me, of I'm Astral. Yeah, exactly. And then. Oh my <laughs> deary doodles. What on earth is that angle? Actually like, keep the motivation up. You said motivation earlier, Orb. That's exactly what Mount needs to do. Talk to them about it. You're not going to change anything within a series. Barely in a day are you going to change what your strats are. You just need to hold it together. And Astral immediately has duct taped his router back together. And he has made an incredible double tap out of it. That's real tough, isn't it? You know, you spend two and a half minutes of the next minute and a half. But one goal can change everything. We've seen it before. Fairy Peak's trying to get it going, bundling that ball forward. Low on boost, though. And it's actually with no boost at all. He's petrifying the Vitality defense. It fell to Fairy Peak in the end. They do meet one of their pre-jumps. Vitality have shown why they have been going for these since the off. This is the moment that they have been building up to as mm. K-Dot beats Astral to the ball. Stumpy. Rentrer aussi, hein, bien évidemment. Monkey Moon à la relance de ce ballon. Est-ce qu'il peut en faire quelque chose Il est parti, malheureusement, cette touche qui n'est pas euh, forcément du plus agréable, qui permet euh, potentiellement de, de faire gagner du temps à son équipe. Attention, Chippy là-dessus pour une potentielle double tap oh, C'est exceptionnel ce qui vient de rentrer, Chippy Il la récupère en aérial et c'est tout simplement une triple tap, en fait, puisque il vient la coller sur le backboard et faire appliquer la finition derrière. Magnifique but... Oh Five, they have stolen away the game from Misfits in the final minute off of two massive physical plays. One from Joyo, two from Rise. To charge it forward. This is where Dignitas we're feeling really comfortable. It seems that the defending from Kato is just going straight back to them. And Joyo's, I mean, you can't give that man that much space. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> just oh, reading that! Flip as well. The pre-flip into the flip reset about oh. two defenders after really going from the ceiling. Jack flinging his car at the ball, making sure it's only a 50-50 that they get, but they can still do so much damage lovely. with it. There is Vatira, your man, Stumpy, and he's playing very well. Absolutely lovely shot. Goes via that 100, waits for the ball to bounce, and Jorius, because oh, he commits to the corner, gives him space, gets the double tap on the air drill. Now we're at zero seconds. Chance for Tira to show a bit more magic off the corner. Joris has to get a touch, doesn't. Joya with the catch, oh, central with the pass. Rise oh. on target! And the first game going to Queso. Look at this flick right here. Joris misses it, sure, but that from Joya, <gasps> he catches it, he flings it. Right. Shosais gets the ball, flip reset. No, it's pass mid to Archie. Drops down, Archie, let's go! Shosset, dub set, god set. Whoever it is, he's scoring. We gotta go. I think that that will even go to the bottom. Well played between the two players, but it's true that it's quite surprising. It's quite surprising, but it's very, very well negotiated. I think the knock into the center for a teammate would have been the play. Mm -hmm. Manage it there. Rice is still coming in. Another bump. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant, they, brilliant, brilliant. They do that so much. As well, Queso, you are never safe when you're in defense against them. Absolutely gorgeous play. Scrub gets knocked out of the path of that ball. Jack has to scramble to try and get anything, but Joyo passes. We are going to play a 2v2. <laughs> Joyo up to the ball. Apparently, Jack's been beaten. Joyo's <laughs> going to score it, and it's Team Queso that come out on top. Roll two with the second goal opening up Reflex. in the 2v2. Look at Jack and Joyo doing a. Uh, an air show together. Like Two goals are needed to come back, but we've seen Lovely. harder stuff happen. Oh. <gasps> Batira, a wonder save. Batira making Dinitas tear up right there. Stepping up to that save, and then Rise is going to kill the game with 35 seconds, or 36 seconds left. Team capable of breaking through that Dinitas defense, but Jorius has got control of the ball here with the Fennec. He's just blocked away by Joe. But his first touch wasn't as good as it needs to be. And maybe, just maybe, for the first time to me in this series, Dimitas oh. themselves are starting to slow down because Queso are dominating them. That movement from Vatera, just the immediate jump, one to two, and then in position to bump Jack if he went late. 
Parfait, Gen genuine. Il a joué encore Astral qui va le passer. Il y a Stake derrière la frappe. La double table de Stake. Et voilà. Ça fait 1-0. Vita 1-0. Ok, let's go. C'est parfait. C'est les ballons les plus dangereux sur la Stake. Ils arrivent à s'en sortir les navis. Ils ont bien réussi à fermer le jeu sur ce match. Astral, Astral, allez Astral, allez Astral, allez Astral, allez Astral, Astral Je crois qu'il y a eu un bon petit HT aussi. Et c'est le deuxième but. À 20 secondes de la fin du match. Il retombe sur ce ballon. Incroyable. Let's go. This is once again Semper need to get ahead and stay ahead because they really do not seem to be finding a way to break down this evil genius's side. And it's another early goal. It's just we can do with a little bit of variety here, Semper. Not just in the way that you're trying to. Oh, attack. another one! Oh, Rizex! That's a thing of beauty. Rizex taking it down the sideline himself, getting that block, and then just going around Shazet at the final moment. This is what Sayers have got such a good. Oh, with two minutes left, no goals still. Oh, and brilliant! That's free to nothing. That's just brilliant there from Evil Geniuses. Ivan coming off the ceiling, dropping it down for his teammate, and that is an open net right there. Chosette with a loose clear. Okay. Voilà, c'est ça. Au lieu de miles per hour. Oh là 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 là, Astral, oh là là là, remontée de balle, c'est magnifique Et ça finit dans les filets, c'est 2-1 Ah, c'est complètement joué de l'équipe adverse. C'était beau, c'était élégant. Uh, RL Esports, the Spain, would not only have taken over Germany, but easily surpassed them. Nobody would have believed you. Yeah, when you talk about a video game that has both... Whoa, Catalyst! Crossbar down, in off the save of the keeper. What a shot. Beat the goal line defender. And that's a great breakaway goal. Cassio's always turning up through the midfield, ready to play off of a clear and uh, take that midfield player out. One of the classic Semper plays as we see the Catalyst fake into a bump. Genius decision making here from Evil Geniuses. All right, well, we're going to add communication to the list of phenomenal Evil Geniuses skills. What a play that Starting is. Not getting this sorted in the first 10 minutes is yet to be seen. Half the game left to go in game four and a Rizex 10 boost. What can he do with it? Reset top corner. I don't believe in boost. All right, we might as well just blur out that part of our, <laughs> our UI. It doesn't matter to these guys. Oh, what a shot. The angle. This has been one of the highest quality series and first games we've had in quite some time. And you didn't expect at the beginning of the day that that will be between Evil Geniuses and Williams Resolve. Radosin finding that back post shot, just keeping it in. So over half the game left to play. Williams Resolve up by one. Moments like this, you, just you can't. Always you gotta watch out for him. Go like that. That is just beautiful. Ivan putting that in Catalyst's pocket, but he makes it look so much easier than it is. He got around that ball. The control the has been with Williams just off, but they're just not creating anything for it. Maybe off this. Can't find the boost to get an extra hit. Radosin from the ceiling takes his time. He's got oh, bottom brilliant. corner, and Radosin with ice in his veins has got the game chased down. Great heads up from him. Prime gets rid of him on the second opportunity, but this time Catalyst did have some support. But the big thing that has been happening throughout this series Ivan. is whoever scores first oh, has the best chances. Ivan has got his team that first goal. Ivan 1v3 onto the sidewall over another, gets the double tap. The angle on that final touch. Play as individuals and rotate very well around each other you'll get punished for that chaos. Mm. So we need to see a little bit more structure from them if they feel like they can beat a team like this. My goodness, apparently Jack, that is beautiful. Well, nothing apparently about it. When you got thrown with the ball, What? you knew it was certain. <laughs> apparently Jack styles on them all. We've only been here for about four or five hours, but playing three best of five series and then going into such an important series like this one, you're definitely thinking, are they getting oh, tired? Oh, Jarius. Come on, this has to go in. Oh my this goodness. It has to go in. It's not gone in. Gregan, bet they have not scored the goal despite three opportunities. And uh, maybe that's a little bit to your point. Jorius, oh, he's hit the crossbar again. Dignitas. Vizio, Ixo, and Tox. We often see them defending for five minutes of the game and relying on breakaway goals. But someone who doesn't rely on breakaway goals, Atomic, with the solo play.
Atomic could not have got this first touch any better. You need Look to keep that. it away from Jorius, because if Jorius can make contact, he will. And instead, it's just average.